Today, I'll be showing you how to use FaceTime. Locate the FaceTime icon, and then tap on it. All your FaceTime conversations will be listed here. I have none. Let's start a new one. Tap on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Now type the name of the person that you want to contact via FaceTime. You can also enter a phone number. Tap video. While you wait for the call to connect, you will see yourself on video. Along the bottom of the screen, you have the following button. You can add effects, mute the microphone, flip the camera, and end the call. To flip the camera so that what you see is coming out of the camera on the back of your phone, tap the flip camera button once. Right now, my video is coming out of the front facing camera or the camera on the front of the iPhone. It looks like Monique is unavailable. To end the call, tap the X. To call back, tap the phone icon. Or you can leave a message. Let's make another call. The second way you can access FaceTime is to look up the contact information for the person that you want to contact. Then tap the video camera. The FaceTime app will activate. While you wait for the call to connect, it will be like before. I just answered the FaceTime call. This is Monique's phone. That's why you can see her video in the upper right corner. When you're making a FaceTime call, you'll be able to see your video as well as the other person who you're talking to. This lets you see how you look. For legal reasons, I've removed the audio from our conversation, but we're just discussing where to go for dinner. When you're talking to someone on FaceTime, make sure that you have the camera positioned properly, that you can see each other, that the volume is turned up loud enough for both of you to hear, and do not yell. You can talk at normal volume and normal speed. You should be able to hear each other clearly. When you're done the call, just tap on the red X to end the call and you'll be taken back to the contact screen. When you practice making FaceTime calls, be sure to put some significant space between yourselves so that you don't get feedback. If two iPhones are too close together, you might hear a squealing sound.